Ah, oh, welcome back, my gardening friends. Well, Jerusalem artichokes, how do we store them for eating and planting? Well, there's my lunchbox. We haven't got a great deal in there from the allotment at the moment. There's a Jerusalem artichoke in the middle of the screen there. And uh, a little bit of uh, pak choy. And this is where I store my Jerusalem artichokes, whether that's for planting or storing, eating, etc. And I noticed uh, when Brian opened up his Jerusalem artichokes that I sent him, uh, they'd started chitting. And uh, I've noticed mine have too, even though the fridge is set at around about four or five. So let's have a little look. So, uh, as you can see, <clears throat> They've started uh, growing, even though they're really, <laughs> really in the cold. So I can expect my Jerusalem artichokes that I've still got growing, or should we say stored in the containers in the soil, ready for harvesting, will have started to uh, sprout. Now, I keep you have to keep them in a sealed container of some description. Uh, wash them, obviously, if you're going to eat them. I don't think it matters whether you wash them or not. Uh, they all sprout. Even the slightest little piece will actually sprout. But if you don't put them, when you harvest them or get them delivered from your supplier, you need to put them into a sealed container, whether that be a little plastic zip bag, a uh, container like this, and pop them uh, in the fridge just to keep them cool or keep them outside. As you can see, even though they've been stored in really cold temperatures they will grow you will struggle to kill jerusalem artichokes you will struggle to keep them in check if you don't plant them in a sealed container but i hope that's helped uh, you can plant them straight away and they will survive when you harvest them but the manufacturers normally send you them at the right sort of time so you can put them straight in the ground. I didn't do mine straight away uh, six or seven years ago and I even saved uh, a few for Nigel at Muddy Boots but they didn't grow because they went soft. Nobody wants a soft Jerusalem artichoke. It won't give you the same effect. Thanks for watching, commenting. I hope that's helped for anybody that likes to grow Jerusalem artichokes. Happy gardening to you all. Till next time, my friends. Giraffe and air.